Welcome to a special miniature edition of the Cinch SPFL Scottish Football Roundup, bringing you all the action from Tuesday evening's three Cinch Championship fixtures. Coming up... League leaders Dundee United make it four wins on the bounce in all competitions. Wraith Rovers continue their hot streak with a battling win at Capilo. And Jamie Murphy inspires Air United to a big point at Fur Hill. Dundee United travel to Lanarkshire, aiming to further consolidate their place at the top of the table. Declan Glass tried his luck early on with an ambitious effort. Kai Fotheringham has been one of the division's standout players this season. He gave the away side the lead on the 20 minute mark, capitalising on a parry from Josh Ray. The young attacker is going from strength to strength in this United team. After going a goal down, Airdrie began to threaten the United goal. Lewis McGregor seeing this shot well tipped away by Jack Walton. And McGregor would have an even bigger chance soon after, but the midfielder unable to beat Walton in the 1v1. Though the visitors had a huge chance to double their advantage before the break, United's assist king, Glenn Middleton, denied by a brave stop from Ray. Into the second half, and United's hunt for a second continued. Glass playing in Fotheringham in the 52nd minute, with the inform attacker doubling his and his side's tally. A ruthless piece of attacking play from the league leaders. United have attacking threats throughout the team. Though on loan midfielder Jordan Tilson is still awaiting his first goal for the club after this near miss. Matthew Cujo was another exciting attacking prospect in the Dundee United ranks. He saw this late chance for 3 0 well held by Ray. Airdrie kept plugging away right up until the final whistle, with their best chance of the second half falling to Callum Gallagher, whose shot was well deflected wide by Liam Grimshaw. United making the trip back up to Dundee with the points in the bag. Wraith Rovers travel to Capilo looking to build upon Saturday's dramatic derby win. Aidan Connolly was the first to test Jamie McDonald in the Morton net. George Oakley was the hero for Morton at Somerset Park on Saturday, but Kevin Dubrovsky was able to keep the striker out with a great save here. Wraith went close to opening the scoring with this free kick from Josh Mullen, the crossbar coming to Morton's rescue. The scoring was opened in unlikely fashion in the 26th minute, when Connolly headed home beyond McDonald from a teasing cross. Not renowned for his heading abilities, though Connolly made no mistake here. And, quite incredibly, Connolly was at it again just 15 minutes later, Ross Millen's wicked delivery being steered home by the winger to double Wraith's advantage. Having missed the start of the season, Connolly is making up for lost time. Into the second half and Morton battled for a way back into proceedings. A corner kick on 48 minutes, eventually dropping for Ian Wilson, who pulled one back for the hosts. Wilson grabbing his first goal since his return to Capilo in the summer. And Wilson could have had a second soon after, but saw his volley well kept out by Dabrowski. Morton were on the front foot and thought they had a leveller here, but Robbie Crawford's shot was well blocked by the Wraith defence. Wraith had a chance to kill the game off here, but Lewis Vaughan couldn't pick out the top corner after McDonald closed the angle. 
Morton's biggest chance would fall for Robbie Muirhead. The striker will be disappointed he didn't make more of this. And Muirhead would get one more sight at goal, but couldn't beat the informed Dabrowski. Wraith heading back to Fife with all three points. Partick Thistle returned to home comforts after their 2-2 draw at Hampden Park last Friday evening. They got off to a strong start, with Brian Graham opening the scoring on 17 minutes. Kerr McEnroy's initial shot well saved, with Graham there to pounce. But in double quick time, the scores were level once again. Logan Chalmers cutting the ball back for Jamie Murphy, who found the net in the 19th minute. Brilliant link-up play between two of Ayr's star men. And the away side almost overturned the deficit soon after, Patrick Redding forcing a strong hand from Thistle stopper Jamie Snedden. Thistle themselves could have been ahead again before the break. Ben Williamson though, unable to find a way past Charlie Albinson. The second half saw the hosts make a lightning quick start, a corner in the 47th minute making its way to Harry Milne who restored Thistle's advantage. A striker's finish from one of the division's top throwbacks. Ayr's next big chance would fall to Murphy after good work down the left flank, but his shot was straight down the throat of Snedden. But the honest men would be handed a huge opportunity to level the scores on 75 minutes when Aaron Muirhead was penalised for a foul on Fraser Bryden. Penalty air. Having scored already, Murphy stepped up and slotted away his second of the game to level things up once more. The winger has now contributed three goals and five assists in his eight league outings this season. The home side had a golden opportunity to take all three points late on when Blair Alston went through but saw his shot bounce back off the post. And at the other end, Ayr thought they'd nicked the points in the dying embers. Bryden finding the net after good play from Francis Amarty but saw his joy curtailed by the assistant referee's flag. A point apiece at Fur Hill. Let's take a look at the Cinch Championship table after our three midweek fixtures. Dundee United tighten their grip on pole position with an away day victory. Wraith Rovers remain hot on their heels in second place following victory in Greenock. And Ayr's point at Fur Hill sees them move up into the playoff places.